mean, when I met you last time, Twelve Years a Slave, we knew who you were, but now you're like a big star in Hollywood. Has your life changed a lot, or has how did? Because you lost your anon anonymity now. I yeah, guess. anonymity. Yeah, yes, it's anonymity. Um, not really that bad to be honest. Um, I mean, definitely. Uh, it affects, you know, how you sort of can, um, you know, what you can do, you know, in terms of sort of uh, going out or being in public, you know, people recognizing you and sort of uh, things like that, that changes things for sure. Um, but for the most part, it's not so bad. I, I tr you know, fly under the radar most of the time. And you must work more than a lot of actors because you have so many movies. Uh, yeah, um, I have been sort of working pretty intensely over the last few years, um, it's just, yeah, kind of happened that way, kind of, uh, um, so yeah, I have done quite a bit. Do you believe that there, do you want to believe that there's life out there in space? Me personally? Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily question it, to be honest. I think it's, I mean, for me, it makes, um, yeah, I've got no doubt that there is life out there, for sure. So being a part of movies like this, does it, it doesn't make you think more about it? But it doesn't, actually. But um, now that you've brought it up, it does make me think. <laughs> <laughs> but when we're shooting, no, I don't really think about it, funnily enough. I should do. Uh, but yeah, I, I just think there's it's such a vast expanse um, out there that uh, it would be weird if we were the only ones there. We make us even more arrogant than we already are, I suppose. Uh, to think that. So, I have to ask you one question about Harry Hulala because you went to Norway. Yes. And did you have to learn any Norwegian, or how did you kind of get into his? I'm embarrassed to say that I didn't <laughs> learn any Norwegian. Unfortunately, I didn't. But I did learn how to ski on that job, and it was one of my favorite jobs. I loved working with Thomas and the whole the whole Norwegian crew, and I love being in Norway. It's. Uh, yeah, really, really enjoyable time on that. What, what was your impression about on Norwegian people in general? Pretty laid back. I think what's very impressive about Norway is having discovered um, all that wealth in very recent years. Um, I think they have a very good balance and relationship to to money, and especially the way that they're investing now in um, in green fuels as opposed to fossil fuels, and it is fossil fuels that have put them in this position in terms of being such a wealthy country, but um, I think they're leading the way in terms of um, looking for other sources of energy, even though that, um, as I say, they've, they've gained so much wealth because of the fossil fuels they've found. Did you like the food? Love the food. Love, love the seafood. Lots of crayfish. Mm, that's nice. Mm. Or langoustines, yeah, lots of langoustines. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's great seeing you again. Yeah. Hi there. Thanks for watching my interview. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please share, like, subscribe, comment below if you have anything you want to share with me or with other people here on YouTube. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Take care.